The youngest person in attendance was probably Sasha Sagan, age four months, whose daddy, Carl Sagan, happened to be there too. He's always been fascinated in the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. I think everyone wants to know how unique the human species are, how common this thing called intelligent life on the Earth is. Are, is it possible that in a galaxy of 400 billion stars in a universe of a billion trillion stars that we're the only inhabited planet? Is that possible? Is it? And it seems to me unlikely, but I can't be sure, of course. Actually, it's more than just fascination that brought Sagan there. He's co-founder of the Planetary Society, the group that's putting up the $20,000 a year. That's all they figure it will cost to keep this automated listening post going. Day and night, year in and year out now, man will be listening from here, scanning the swirling galaxies, combing the cosmic haystack for that one tone or beep or whatever it turns out to be that would be our first bit of solid evidence that somebody's out there. Space is so vast that the odds against finding them anytime soon are long. We'll never know if we don't look. And that's why Professor Horowitz's wife took a bottle of champagne today to launch the investigation. Maybe something will come of it, maybe not. This may be the least important story of the day, but let the search begin. Or it may be the most important story.